Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick video, a little bit of battery maintenance. Uh, as you can see, I got a few low cells here. When the, the acid is a little low, I'm going to top these off with the distilled water. That's very important. If you use regular water, it'll uh, corrode the plates and you'll pretty much ruin your battery. So always use distilled water. As with anything, when you work with a battery, always have your safety glasses on because you don't want the acid to splash out on you or anything. And uh, you might want to put gloves on your hands, so not a bad idea. I don't have any right now, so I can't do that myself. So we're just going to take the caps off here. If you look, it shows you where it's supposed to be. Uh, you got to keep it in between these two lines on each cell. You can see a couple of the middle cells don't need any acid yet or water yet. I'm going to top off the ones that do and put it up to the top of that line there. Just trying to prolong the life of the battery a little bit more and. During the winter, I kept it inside the house so it wouldn't get cold or anything, and it helps out a lot. As soon as I top this off here, I'm going to uh, charge it real good for about an hour or two before I start cutting grass. Also, uh, you see a little bit of dirt here. Make sure none of that gets down inside there. I'm going to. I'm going to wipe that off a little bit here before I get started to keep that from happening. If you ever get any dirt in there, it's going to make your plates corrode and rust. Now, I'm no expert on these batteries, but uh, I do know about topping the water off like that. And If you want to give me any suggestions or anything, I'm open to that. I uh, always uh, appreciate help like that. And it's best to get some needle nose here to pull these caps out. Some of them screw in. I thought this thought that's what this was at first, but it ain't. I bought this battery new uh, about two or three years ago. I can't remember exactly, and I'm just trying to keep from buying it because that's a about a forty dollar battery there. I'll try to do a close up here so you can see where the levels is on each cell. You can see the one on this side over here on the, the negative side's a little lower. So we're just going to top them off with. That upper level line right there, and see what it does. You don't need nowhere near a gallon. That's just the only way you can buy distilled water. You can do it yourself, but uh, for about 90 cents, you might as well just buy it. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm just going to fill up, fill up this paint cap. It's real nice and clean. I'm going to use that to pour it into each cell like that, so I don't have to worry about using a funnel and pouring out of this big jug. So let me get some water here. That may be enough to do the whole thing. Like I said, don't ever use regular water because it'll uh, make the plates corrode and really shorten the life of your battery. So always keep that in mind. So I'm going to get started here. My hands are a little shaky as always. So. Just got to keep an eye on it. Don't want to use put too much in it or not enough. You get the idea. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bore you all with all that. Okay, I just got through putting it in there. If you look, I got them all. Kind of, I know it's kind of hard to see, but they're all with about at that top line, just maybe just a little bit above. Uh, I don't really know what the problem would be with putting too much in it, except for uh, being more apt to run off the drain hose there. Uh, I don't really know if it could damage your batteries if putting too much in or not. I know uh, you're not supposed to have any less than this line. Uh, and there's all most of the middle cells are about halfway between us. So I just put topped them off, but the cells on the end were a little bit lower. And the paint cap full of water was just enough. <laughs> so like I said, it didn't even uh, didn't even put a dent in the gallon jug there. But if you got this type of battery, you got to pop the caps off like that to get to them. I like the other type better for checking them. Be sure to always wear safety glasses when you pop them off because you can sling acid out there. I don't know how well you can tell, but uh, they look like they're pretty high in this. If you look, you can actually see all the plates in there. That acid looks a little dirty in there, but not too bad. So I'm going to leave this one alone. Uh, I think it'll be all right. Actually, them two on the end look a little low, so I might put a little bit in them. I'm going to give this battery a good charge, too. 
Okay, now I'm going to put this battery on charge here. I'm going to leave it on charge for about an hour or two. That's another thing I hate about these little batteries. It's hard to get these to clamp on there. And it went up to about three and a half. Uh, now before, this wouldn't go down past two or halfway between one and two. So I'm going to see if that helped it. And I'm going to get the other battery on charge here. And we'll check back here in a little bit to see if it made any uh, difference. Also, be sure to charge batteries in a well-ventilated area because... Uh, and it's best to leave the caps off too because it'll, it'll uh, bubble a lot. And actually what that bubbling is is uh, like electrolysis of water making hydrogen. And hydrogen gas is uh, very flammable. It probably even more flammable than gasoline. So I always do this in a well ventilated area and avoid any sparks or anything. So don't smoke around it or anything. And a lot of times when you hook these up they'll spark and that can actually cause a fire. So if your charger has an on off switch be sure to turn it off that way or unplug it first probably be the safest thing to do also another important thing on any of these small batteries like this for lawnmowers you don't want to use more than about a six or eight amp charger because you don't want too much current flowing through them you can burn them up uh, I got this one charged it went up to about the same it's already down to zero so uh, this is a pretty good battery here uh, it's uh, only about a year old I think well 2011 <laughs> I didn't see that there a minute ago, so it's about two years old. Uh, so that means that one's about three or four years old, because this was bought since I bought that one. I'm just going to let them charge for about an hour, hour and a half or so, uh, until they go down. I don't look for this one to go down to zero. It never has, even since it was brand new. And Also, another point, uh, if you have any extra acid laying around, you're not supposed to top them off with acid. That's another thing I'm not sure why. Uh, if anybody knows, uh, leave a comment there and let me know. Uh, so I'd like to learn a lot more about these batteries. That way I can take better care of them so they'll last longer. Like I said, I know how to top them off with the distilled water and charge them, of course. But that's about as far as I know uh, about them. And of course, putting the acid in when you first get them. Of course, with this type, you don't have to put the acid in. So that makes it uh, easier and safer, safer too. So Most of the new mowers will use this type of battery. And, well, we'll get back to here after it charges and we'll see if that goes down or not. This one's bubbling a lot. It's charging up real good. Well, it's been about an hour and it's staying right at three, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off charge, put the, go ahead and stick the caps back in it. Uh, the other one's down to zero now, so that should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and put these caps in there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the mower. And the next video will be a, uh, old start of my lawnmower here a lot of people like to see that and we'll uh, see how it starts with this fresh battery I guess you call it <laughs> so let's see see what happens so well guys thanks for watching if you got any questions or comments just leave a comment below or send me a message and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can so uh, thank you for watching